Hi, welcome to Jeremy's Tech Channel, and today we're going to take a look at using Wind to install Windows programs on Linux. Simply put, Wine is a layer that allows for Windows executables to be installed on Linux systems. Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. And it's just a great compatibility layer. A lot of your games that you install nowadays, if you're on Linux, there are some Windows only versions. Proton uh, is a big part of that compatibility layer, but Wine was the originator and is still being used to install games and other applications today, just adding that compatibility. And on my desktop here, I have an executable. This is FL Studio. I'm hoping I'll be able to install it with Wine. We'll find out. FL Studio is an audio workstation. I've been using Ardour and I think it's killer and great and wonderful, but I'm curious. And so I wanted to check it out and there wasn't a Linux version. So we're gonna install this and see how it works. This could be a big flop. This could be a big success. Let's find out. So I'm gonna right click on this and I'm gonna open with Wine Windows Program Loader. And the setup menu pops up. Here you are with your end user license agreements. Now we're going to install. It looks like most Windows executable installers. Going through Wine creates a folder structure that these executables recognize. And then I will show you in my menu, there is a essentially a Wine menu and it shows the Windows programs that I have installed. One that I have installed right now is for a guitar processor that I use. But I wanted to show something new uh, and I wanted to see how well this works. There is a web page called WineHQ and you can go and see what people have seen and used and tried and see how, see how it works. Skip to the end. It looks like it needed some other setup pieces. So it launched this ASIO for all setup wizard. Went to finish. It's installed. So now I am going to see if it will work. I'll go up to my menu here. My face is in the way down here. I have this wine set up and here is what I just installed. The FL Studio 20 and let's see if it opens up. Uh, it opens up. <laughs> I'm going to continue trial because I just wanted to see if this was going to work. Cool. Tried to use Pipewire and it failed. I'm just gonna get this started just long enough to see if, see if this is working and playing. Obviously this is ownership of FL Studio. This is not mine, <laughs> but check it out. It works, it works. I have FL Studio and you've got a plugin database here that you have accessible to. You have generators, all the plugin presets here, channel presets, um, working through some scores here. This is cool. But I did want to show you that this is completely possible, that you might have the ability to install Windows programs on your Linux system. And it's not gonna work for everything. I think if you wanna to try to install Microsoft Office, just don't. <laughs> but if there are some applications like that, that you can uh, use, you know, that's great, cool sequencing workstation situation for me with my music that I can use. And it's there and available. Uh, like I said, I use Ardour and I love it. And I'm probably gonna use that mostly. I'm gonna mess around with FL Studio and see if I like it. I wanted to show you Wine. I wanted to show you how to have access to some extra pieces of software that you may not have if you're on Linux. You know, some of the other options, you might be stuck with a specific kind of software that your work uses or that you need that is not available on Linux. And I can't guarantee that Wine is gonna work for you, but as you just saw, it did work for me on a piece of software. Check Wine HQ. I'll put the link in the description below. I hope this helped you out. Talk to you later.